The more I preached to them, the less they listened. They were outlaws now, and they didn't want my judgment. There was no longer any talk about rebuilding our home or our farm back in Georgia. As we waited for Juarez to return, time dragged endlessly. Finally, Ray boasted of Marissa's promise to run away with him if he could get the medallion. He said he was taking the gold and the girl and that no one would stand in his way. Thomas didn't say a single word, but I saw the fire in his eyes. He rode off in silence. Ray had no idea where he was going, but I did. Were you gonna tell me? You shouldn't be in here. If the men see... Do you think I wouldn't find out? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You sold yourself to Ray for the gold. I didn't sell myself to anyone. He said he wanted the medallion, so I told him to take it. For himself? Or for you? For both of us. All of us. And what about Juarez? Ray said he would kill him. He's not the only McCall who knows how to handle a gun. But I don't want you to fight, Juan. I don't want you to get hurt. But it's okay if Ray gets hurt. I'm not in love with Ray. I got the best guns and rifles in this part of Arizona. Want some ammo?
Lost and found. You done with it? Don't worry about me. It's time to talk to Mendoza and his amigo, the smuggler. You sure about that? Let's go. Mendoza said to lay low for a little longer. You attracted a lot of attention. I've had enough laying low. Hold your horses, Ray. Can't hurt to stay in hiding for a little bit. Fine, little brother. Let's hide then. At their hideout. You are one impatient son bitch. We're looking for Juarez. That's the boss. I know that some bitch from somewhere. Hey. We're looking for Juarez. Did he pull out? Mr. Mendoza has decided to continue his journey without me. Barnsby! He didn't like the idea at first, but I convinced him it would be in his best interest to leave you two behind. Ray and Thomas McCall. I made a blood oath on the flag of the Confederacy that I would hunt down every deserter who fled my command. Because of cowards like you, Atlanta was burned to the ground. My wife and children murdered in their beds. Meanwhile, subhuman animals are now free to live among the decent Christian folk. Free to do whatever they want. Fornication with our women. Misogynation. Colonel, you will pay for your betrayal. You will die a coward's death, and you will burn in hell for all eternity! <laughs> 